दोस्तों जैसे कृष्ण और विभाग को रजन और दस भाग गोवर को नहा देखो सब प्रताप कृष्णा अल्लाह जी वाला शुभ और जैसे सारे सारे आप लोग बोला तो तो दूसरे तो वो नहीं है आगे कुछ नहीं आता Norway is a small nation, four million inhabitants. But if you turn Norway the upside down, the same distance from the Poland to the northern part is the same distance as from Oslo to Rome. We are a long and small country, but with a small population. We got our independence in 1814 after 400 years being ruled by the Danes. So, in Norwegian history, we talk about the 400-year night. The Norwegian folk high school movement became one of the most important factors of how to develop and awaken uh, the, the people's own culture in Norway. And it's, a, it's, a, it's actually uh, strange that uh, a school might have such a contribution to the development of the culture. That was uh, the fact. The first Norwegian folk high school started in 1864. And today it's 82 Norwegian folk high schools. In Denmark it's about 100, in Sweden it's 130, and it's 90 in Finland, one in the Faroe Island and one in Greenland. So altogether, it's 400 folk high schools approximately in the Nordic countries. And they more or less all have the same effect, contributing to the awareness and consciousness of the culture of the people. I just wanted to ask a question. Uh, after the, the student finished the high school, how uh, or what are the, let's see, the regulation or some, uh, the government, uh, let's see, Maybe the condition that the, the students like uh, who finished high school and want to join this whole high school. Yes. Are there okay. any certain uh, conditions or something like that? You mean financial? Yeah, what qualifies him to... Yeah, what qualifies no, no, no. the student to join this? Oh, 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 no, no qualifications at all. They just have to uh, send a make folk high school meeting places for people that would not meet elsewhere. People drop out, uh, very motivated students. We have a very heterogeneous groups in the folk high school. Primary subjects that they might need in completing their, their education, or is it no. just the no. elective subjects they might take? No. No, we don't have. And that's very important that we not have those uh, primary subjects because they should feel free and, and they, afterwards they might pick up what they have lost but not in a folk high school, no. Mm. Mm. This is an, uh, an basic, uh, a basic uh, element of the construction of the uh, uh, folk high school. Uh, didn't you think that this is very difficult uh, to be achieved here? Oh. <laughs> you see, I'm, I'm, I was here for the first time in 1996 and been in five days now. But I've read a lot about the problems in the Middle East and the problems with, between Israel and, uh, and uh, the Palestinians. So I would say yes. <laughs> Yeah.